Which one should I read? This one? No, I read that already. Weedless gardening? Ew. Um, let's see. Um, ah! how to eat cheesecake? Ugh, I'm already a professional. Uh, no, not this one. Ah! <sighs> I just can't find one. It is 2 a.m. Uh, I better get some sleep. I'll just check tomorrow. <sighs> Have you ever been so into a book that you lost track of time? Well, <laughs> I was trying to read for four hours straight. <laughs> And by read, I meant looking at the pretty pictures. But anyway, I love learning how to read, but I didn't mean to get carried away. I mean, check out this book. It's a real page turner. It's a book that brings you into action. <laughs> See? I get so excited about it. I could just look at the pictures all day long. Oh, wait. No, I can't. I told my mom that I will get my school work done. What would three minutes hurt? No, I must hide the book. Oh, help me hide this book. What was that? Oh, oh, my phone. Hey, Lily, I heard your cry for help. Are you trying not to read again? Yes, um, when did reading become a bad thing? Well, I just, I don't know how to read. I'm trying. I mean, how could that be bad? You're right, Lily. Reading is a good thing, but it can become a distraction when it takes you away from the things that you just have to do. Like my schoolwork? Exactly. Ugh, why is this so hard? The book is teasing me. I can't handle the temptation. What do I do, Grace? What do I do? Well, maybe we can learn something from the Bible. The Bible? Yes, of course. Did you know that at one time Jesus was tempted? Really? Please share. Yes, Satan tempted Jesus several times in the desert, but Jesus was prepared. He had a very special weapon to fight back. Like a sword? Not exactly. He used God's word to respond to Satan every time he was tempted. Wait, no sword? Just God's word? Yes. And guess what? It worked. You see, not all battles are big battles with swords and armory. Some are small battles that we fight with ourselves. Satan likes to distract us with things that will take our focus away from God and what we should be doing, even if it is a good thing, like reading. Wow, that does make sense. Maybe I should spend time, more time reading the Bible and learning about what God wants for me. So when I'm tempted, I can remember what is important to God. Great idea, Lily. You know, there are some great Bibles out there. My mom just got me the new epic Bible. Wow, that does sound epic. I will have to check it out. Um, but Grace, um, <clears throat> you see, I still don't know how to read. So there's pictures, right? There is? Oh, that's great. Uh, I can't wait. Anyway, um, talk to you later, Grace. Bye. Wow, Grace is right. I really need to prepare myself for the tricks and distractions of Satan. I'm going to spend more time reading the Bible, doing what I should be doing, and asking God to help when I get tempted to do something different. After all, God prepares us to fight temptation. God prepares us to fight temptation. You know what that sounds like. Say it with me. God prepares us to fight temptation. Sure does. It's our big idea. Let's learn one verse that we can remember when we face temptation. It is found in 2 Thessalonians 3.3. It reads, But the Lord is faithful and he will strengthen you and protect you from the evil one. Wow, friends, we don't have to have it all together. We just need to ask God for help. He will strengthen and protect you. Let's add some motions to help remember this verse. First, let's do the sign language motions for Lord. Awesome. But the Lord... Oh. 
awesome. But the Lord is faithful and he will strengthen and protect you from the evil one. Awesome. Keep practicing and holding on to his truth. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you so much for sending your son Jesus to protect us and to always be there for us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Good job, everyone. This week, let's practice asking God for help. When you go to your small group, have your leader start and you can take turns asking God for help with something. You can practice saying the words, God help me. Then during the week when you are scared, angry, frustrated, tired, etc., because these are the times we are most vulnerable to temptation, we can say the important words, God help me. Then when you and I are tempted, we will be prepared and ready to ask God for his help. You see, boys and girls, when temptation creeps up on us, we can be most tempted to forget who our God is. We can forget his great love for us and his power. Taking the time to practice and ask God for help now can help us when we are tempted. It was a great day with you guys today. I hope you have a wonderful week and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.